So we are at a very interesting crossroads in our life right now. The iPhone XR is changing right before our eyes. And it's funny because just the other week and actually for the past few months, I've been kind of heartbroken with this specific device. I truly did feel like Apple could have easily you know, done a little bit of a better job, especially with this device on the last few versions of software. But now it's looking like probably for the remainder of, I would say the betas of iOS 16, we are going to be getting into a really improved version of software, making this probably a better phone, which I'm really, really happy about. Now to give you some, I guess, a sideline, I was doing a battery comparison test between the iPhone XR and many different iPhones, very similar to a battery test that I'm doing right here with all my other phones. And pretty much what was going on was I was seeing my iPhone XR not doing that well compared to all the other iPhones, which is expected. You know, I also found on iOS 15, I was having a very weird experience on pretty much this iPhone XR for the you know, time being. I went ahead and bought a couple other iPhone XRs and I was also experiencing some weird issues here and there. But then iOS 16 came around and I was getting such horrible battery life on this phone. So much so in fact that when I was doing my other battery comparisons, I noticed the XR was pretty much the first one to die even before phones like an iPhone 10. Now the iPhone XR internally has a really decent sized battery. I think it's bigger than the iPhone 10. But on top of that, my battery health on this phone was still very high. My battery health was pretty much at 93%. My 10 was at like 86%, so this one was already you know, higher than that naturally. But then came something weird. For the next couple betas, the other battery tests I did, it was doing worse and worse. But now on beta 7, the battery test that I just did the other day, and I wonder if we can actually see my battery you know, test that I just did. So right here you can see pretty much you know what I did. And I left the screen on, you can see I was at, I don't know why it says 9 minutes, it was definitely a lot more than that. But essentially what was going on was I found that my battery life is now much, much better on iOS 16 beta 7, that is the current beta, than my previous beta that I was on. So what does this mean? Well, that means to me that Apple's probably listening to a lot of people's feedback. If you're rocking an iOS 16 beta, you can always go inside of the feedback little you know option right here and let Apple know exactly what's going on. If you ever have any issues or anything even remotely close to that, I would highly recommend going into the feedback application, logging in, and letting them know exactly what's going on because I think with more people complaining and not complaining, but just letting them know what the issues are within the beta, they are actually actively fixing these things, which is really good. So I would assume by the official timeline when the next beta comes out, when beta 8 comes out and the official version coming out probably September I would say the release candidate is coming out September 9th we'll probably get iOS 16 maybe September 12th you know which is just a few weeks from now I assume that all iPhones so far that I've been testing are going to be at a much stronger state and a much more stable state than even beta 7 beta 8 even beta 9 if it comes out this week so I would love to hear your thoughts about this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.